Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday and happy Valentine's Day for those of you watching on Valentine's Day. Um, today, as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look. I thought this would just be perfect because my upload schedule falls right on Valentine's Day. So maybe you have like a Valentine's Day date or maybe you just wanna play with makeup on Valentine's Day. I decided to create a pink Valentine's Day makeup look. Last year, I created a red makeup look. Um, so this year, I kind of wanted to do a pink makeup look. Maybe next year, we'll do purple. So today, I just wanted to play around with the ColourPop Blush Crush Eyeshadow Palette because it is a very pink palette, as I've said many times. Um, but I wanted to dip into some of the colors that I've never actually played with before, like Blossom Up, How Rouge, Blush Wine and it made you blush. Um, I haven't played with those mainly because they're like sequiny colors, so they're like mattes with glitter in them. Um, so they've just kind of been a bit daunting to dip into, but today I really just wanted to play with them. So I think today we'll start off with the face and then move into the eyes. So with all that being said, let's jump into the video. So, for primer, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. This is a very hydrating primer and my skin is feeling a bit dehydrated, so we're going to use a hydrating primer to kind of give it some moisture. Just take about two to three drops. I did three drops and it's very liquid. So I'm just going to pat this onto the skin. And then can you guess what product is next? The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you couldn't guess that, have you even been watching my videos? <sighs> I'm kidding, but you should totally subscribe. Um, I'm just going to rub this into my pores, only on the sides of the nose because that's where I get like the largest pores. So just make sure to Fill all those in. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. Moving on to foundation, I'm actually going to mix two just to get my like ideal shade. I'm gonna mix the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade True Beige and the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation in the shade Light Ivory. Um, they're both fairly light coverage foundations, so we're just gonna mix them and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to just apply the L'Oreal one first and then we'll go in with the Mega Cushion. I'm gonna dot this on the face. You can tell it's pretty dark for me. Well, maybe you can't tell. Actually, I don't know, it kind of looks okay, but we're just gonna mix to just for the ideal shade. If you are going on like a date, you definitely want your foundation to match. Uh, I'm just going to buff that in with the Morphe M439 brush. I'm just going to take what's left on the back of my hand and just blend it down the neck. I'm just going to add this one maybe to like more of the center of the face just to help lighten it a bit. I'm just going to dunk my sponge. I'm just going to tap this into the center of the face. This will kind of just act as like a natural, not a natural highlight, but a more subtle highlight than using concealer. Then I'll just take what's left and just blend it across the rest of the face. I haven't used a sponge to apply my foundation in so long. It's kind of crazy. I am just going to take a bit of the L'Oreal foundation and just blend it down the neck because I don't want anything to not match. That just helps everything look a bit more cohesive. Um, and then just buff over it with, or not buff, but just tap over it with the sponge. For concealer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Um, I'm just gonna do a bit here and then a bit here. I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. I forgot how quickly this dries, so I'm just gonna be safe and do one eye. 
And then I'll just take the tip of my sponge and just blend over that. Then I'll do that to the other side. Again, just take that sponge and just blend over everything. Then I will just do a little bit in the center of the face and especially on the nose because again, the nose just tends to come off the quickest. Just really anywhere I want to brighten. <laughs> wow, that looks a bit crazy. I'm just gonna buff this out with the brush. And then I will just take my sponge and go over that just to kind of melt the concealer and foundation together and make it look seamless on the skin. For blemishes, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Fair. This one just tends to blend pretty well with my skin tone, so. And I will use my sponge on this one. And while this is going to be more of a glam makeup look, I'm trying to make it look natural or as natural as I can. So just going over your makeup just after every layer with the damp sponge will just help melt everything together and press it into the skin so then it looks like it's skin. For powder, I'm going to use the number seven translucent perfect light setting powder. We are gonna work with creams. So I'm just going to set under the eyes right now. Just take my sponge, press out any creases, and then I'll just take that and set my under eyes. I am going to take the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and also use this under the eyes as well. And we will later on use this in the center of the face just to help brighten things up. But for now, I'm just going to use this under the eyes. Now we're going to do some cream products. Um, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild uh, contour stick in the shade Where's Walnut, and then take that on my Elf Ultimate Blending Brush. You guys know I just kind of just graze over the top like this. If you apply it directly to the skin, I haven't really tried that, but. It just kind of makes it harder to blend, so I just apply it to the brush to give it a more natural look. Um, just tap it. And then buff, because this will just help create a more natural look. And then also just take some under the jaw just to kind of chisel that out. And in person, this looks a bit crazy right now. So just keep buffing until all the edges are dissolved and you can't tell where the contour or the bronzer starts and where it ends. And then I will just take my sponge and go over it just to absorb any extra product and just melt it into the skin. Now we're going to move into blush. Actually, first I'm just gonna go ahead and set the face because we're not doing cream blush today as much as I love cream blush. We're just going to use a powder blush today. So just take my fluffy brush, same number seven powder and just tap it into the skin. And also make sure to set the neck since we did apply foundation and a bit of bronzer there. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Keep It Peachy Blush. This is a peach blush. I love a peach blush. It just looks so good on lighter skin tones. And just apply that to the skin. It also helps to kind of bronze you without like a bronzer. I don't know, it's, it's something about it just looks so nice. Just do a little bit on the nose to give that sun-kissed look. And then again, take that sponge and just press over everything. This will also help take away any powdery feel to the skin, which again, helps it feel more like skin and less like makeup. For a highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Butter Highlight in the shade Pearl. This is just such a pretty highlight, honestly, like, 
It just looks so good on the skin, on the nose. And again, take that sponge and go over it. Let's move on to the eyes. Um, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, my Holy Grail Eyeshadow Primer, because it is truly the best. Apply this to the eyes. This eyeshadow primer is usually like the one thing I won't compromise on. I just, I have to have it in my makeup routine. It is that good for me. Like, I mean, if you have another eyeshadow primer that works for you, great. Um, I'm just gonna set that with the Essence Banana Powder. This will help kind of brighten up the base of the eyes a bit and also help cancel out any like veins in anything because that, while the eyeshadow primer is good, it doesn't have coverage of like veins and everything. So that is the one downside, but Usually I can get really good makeup looks with it either way. As you can see, like everything is like canceled out pretty much. And especially since it is a banana powder, it'll kind of cancel out the purpley tones in the eyes. So there you go. Let's jump into my favorite part of any makeup look, the eyeshadow. So I'm going to start off with the shade Love Sick, which is just this one right here. And I'm just gonna cover the whole eye with this from lid all the way up to the brow. It's just a good like, it's kind of like a skin color for me. So I can use this all the way up to the eyes. I mean, all the way up to the brows. This will also kind of just give us a bit more coverage on the lids before we go in with any more colors. Next, I'm going to dip into the one. Use this as a transition shade. Now I'm going to take just a more tapered brush. It's also skinnier. I'm gonna take the shade Made You Blush. Um, I've never actually used one of these like glittery shades. I'm kind of nervous, but hopefully it'll work out all right. I'm just gonna take Made You Blush and just pop this in the crease as well. Hopefully it won't be too glittery. Okay, that's not bad. Like, you can still tell it's pink, but it's not glittery. Like, it has a bit of a sheen to it. I'm sure if you packed it on, like, with a denser brush, it would be glittery. But I'm not mad at it. That's actually perfect. Okay. Well, that's good for future reference. Um, to know that there's a pink shade that I can use. I'm just going to cover the whole lid with this color and just blend out the edges. It looks like way pinker in the pan than it does in real life. Although it is still pretty pink in real life, but it's still pretty wearable, which is good. And this is like the perfect shade of pink I was looking for because while the look I did a couple weeks ago was like a softer pink, this is a more like vibrant pink. You know, I used to hate the color pink, but now I love the color pink. Not like a magenta hot pink, but like the blush color. Now like everything in my room is that color. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Okay, uh, I just had to take a quick break to charge my camera, um, but we're back now. Okay, so I did figure out kind of the look I was going to do while we <laughs> took that short break. I did um, another layer of the pink just to kind of build it up a bit. I'm gonna go back into that same brush that we were just using. I'm gonna dip into the shade cheek to cheek. And I'm just gonna pop this on the outer edge of the eye. I'm gonna take the shade How Rouge, which is another one of those um, metallics, not metallics, um, glitter, shimmer, the mattes with the glitters, what are they called? Ooh, that looks good. That also helped kind of deepen up the outer edge and then just do that to the other eye. When you use a bit of a fluffier brush with these like glitter shades, the actual glitter kind of gets dust it off so then it's kind of just more of a matte but you could totally still like build them up as a glitter if you wanted to but for our purposes this is working quite well i'm gonna take that uh morphe brush that we used earlier and just buff out the edges on the top just to make sure there's no harsh lines 
and everything just blends together seamlessly. I'm just gonna take another brush. This is just came in a profusion palette and I'm gonna take the shade Blush Wine. This one has a lot more glitter in it. Um, but I'm just going to use this on the very, very outer edge. And then I'm gonna take that a brush we used just a second ago and buff over that and then take the morphe brush and just buff over everything okay i think that looks really good now we're going to go into the shimmers i'm going to take the shade blossom up which is this shade right here it kind of looks brown in person but when i swatched it it had this really pretty shift to it it was like a pinky purpley kind of a color it was really interesting so I am going to use this shade on the eyes today. Just such a pretty duochrome color. Like, can you see? I don't know if the camera picks it up as much. It looks so good. And I will just kind of carve out the crease just a bit. Not take the shimmer above that crease. And then just lightly kind of buff that into those darker shades on the outer lid and then do the same on the other eye my left eye is always a bit harder for me to do on camera because i just i can't like i'm doing like arm contortion so i'm gonna finish this eye up off camera and i'll be right back okay now i'm going to take the shade enamored on the same brush and just pop this in the center of the lid kind of add a bit of a highlight just to the center and this will kind of just draw in the light as you can kind of see right there mm, that is so pretty i've never done like a bright pink makeup look but i'm kind of loving it and lastly just for the inner corner i am going to take the physician's formula highlighter that we used earlier and just pop this in the inner corner because this shade uh this palette does have a super shock shadow but it's like very glittery as all of the super shock shadows are. And I don't think it'll look very good on the inner corner. It's more of a all over lid kind of a look. Now we're gonna do the lower lash line since we've already done um, the rest of our makeup. I'm gonna take the one and I'm just gonna drag that across the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take cheek to cheek and pop this on the outer edge. I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit of How Rouge, do the same thing, but only on the very like outer edge. For the brows, I'm just going to use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel just to set them. You could totally fill them in. And for mascara, I'm going to use my trusty CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I'm gonna curl the lashes first and then we will apply the mascara. And now that the eyes are done, we're gonna move on to the lips. I'm going to line the lips with the NYX um, lip liner in the shade Natural. It just looks like this. And then I'll just blend that in with my finger. You could totally just like apply a gloss on top. Actually, I decided I'm not gonna do a liquid lip this time I'm going to use the Maybelline, I don't know what this is called, it's the Shine lipstick. This is what the tube looks like. It's the shade Baddest Beige. It's kind of just like a pinky, kind of beigey color. I'm just gonna tap this onto the lips as opposed to swiping. And I think this lip, uh, this lipstick will just look a little bit better with the eye look um i am going to add a lip gloss this is the nyx butter gloss gloss in the shade cream brulee again i'm just going to tap this onto the lips as opposed to swiping it i just think it gives a more kind of natural finish and appearance i've been using setting spray um for quite a while so if you do want to use setting spray just to lock everything in then by all means go ahead and do that now um 
But that is the final look. I'm super happy with how this turned out. The eyes are just, oh my gosh, they are so pretty. Ooh, that one color, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I know I say this in like every video and I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so great and everything. But oh my, I just think this is like so romantic and pink. Um, if you want something a bit softer, you can go check out my everyday makeup look for 2021. That's a bit more of a like softer, subdued version of this look, um, but it's still really subtle and pink. And I think everything just ties together so nicely. Ugh, beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And again, subscribe down below for new videos on Sundays. Thanks for sticking around. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao, guys.